Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I want to appreciate you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Today, I have watched a video of Jeremiah Kioni, the embattled Jubilee Party Secretary General. As he has coming out to expose William Ruto when it comes to the Jubilee Party. As I was just watching, I was shocked. So I want you to watch the video of Jeremy Akioni. I want you to understand deeply why William Ruto, during a secret meeting in between Raelu Dinga himself and the former president of Nigeria, Ombasaju, when they were discussing on how they can have negotiation and dialogue. But when William Ruto was asked, and Raila posted a certain question about Jubilee Party. William Ruto came out claiming that Jubilee Party was his own party, not Ouru's political party. So he has the right, he has the courage to take Jubilee Party wherever he wants Jubilee Party to be. So this is just a kind of exposing William Ruto, and of course, he has come out to expose himself that he is the one who is meddling with the wrangles of Jubilee Party. That is the point that we have taken. But before we do that, ladies and gentlemen, before we watch the video, if you are a visitor for the first time and you have not subscribed to this channel, please do me a favor. Ensure you subscribe, you like, you comment, and you share this video. Don't watch before you like this video watch the video then we continue pertinent question when you invite other people into your pg when you call the neck of another party and you share it where is the integrity you are what are you telling kenyans where is your leadership in it even if you find that the leadership of jubilee is weak in fact, let me tell you because we know some of these things. When this issue was raised in Mombasa, because it was raised by Raira to, to William, he said, Jubilee is my party. Mm -hmm. I formed it. Who restored it from me? And Obaja, or even Obasa Jaraft said, what is now that? How is it helping in this getting the country out of the difficulties that is in? So you can actually see the, the difficulties that we are in because of the quality of leadership. You cannot be able to take on a debate from the opposing side. So instead of engaging so that you can get the best out of that side, you weaken it by buying people and getting people so to I see the sun is rising this side. And after what Come you over, if you are here, we'll give you development. It is clear that William Ruto is the one that is going after Jubilee Party. And in fact, even when it comes to dialogue, William Ruto does not want this dialogue to be about Jubilee Party. He is claiming Jubilee Party niyake na atafanya vila anataka. That is the decision that William Ruto made. So I, saw, I told you here that this issue of Jubilee, Jubilee Party and Ritu Pia Kondani, he is in, she is inside that deal. And that is why every meeting that William is, you will find Andy Ritu is there. Andy Ritu is is a, a tool that William Ruto is using to take over Jubilee Party. And that is why she is unable to come out to make solutions when it comes to Jubilee Party. It is court after court, court after court, court after court. That is whatever is happening. It is the celebration of William Ruto, the way Jubilee Party is continuing to go on. Again, number two, I want you to understand that William Ruto does not have any intention of after taking jubilee party through his jubilee appointed rebels the jubilee party is going to grow jubilee party is going to be folded take it to the nearest bank jubilee party is going to be folded and as jubilee party is going to be folded those members of parliament elected under jubilee party they are going to defect directly to UDA. And they are going to seek election. So this is not something that is, for the first time, 
we are seeing these dramas. But again, William Ruto to come out to claim before the former president of Nigeria, Mbasajo, that Jubilee Party is his party. He doesn't want anyone to speak about Jubilee Party. That is what we have been told. He doesn't want even Rail Udinga to speak about Jubilee Party. He is telling Rail Udinga that, look, Jubilee Party was formed by myself. It was the proposals that I brought on the table and it was my project. So Jubilee Party is my party. It's not Uhuru Kenyatta's party. In fact, he is coming out to prove that the core, the main Jubilee was him. So he has the authority and he is courageous enough to take over Jubilee Party. That is what William Ruto told Ambassador. In fact, we are being told that Ambassador even came out asking William Ruto. So now, how is Jubilee Party going to make, or rather, taking over Jubilee Party and buying some opposition members of parliament to your government going to resolve the solution here? When it comes to the wrangles in between the Kenya Kwanzaa and Azimio, simple thing is here. One thing that I, I'm always praying for is there a possibility that one day Railo Dinga and William Ruto are, they are going to agree on party migration that now you are not going to accept any member of parliament who is going to migrate from this coalition to the other because let us uh, uh, let us uh, take it like this imagine that in 2027 if William Ruto is not going to win election, I know some people will say that he is going to win. I don't know. In any case, he is not going to win election. In any case, he is not going to win election. Then, imagine that William Ruto is going to have more members of parliament. More members of parliament. But, Raila Odinga is the one who won election. Will William Ruto, for example, as opposition leader, will accept some members of parliament from UDA or rather in any affluent political party from his coalition to join the Azimio, will they accept that if there is possibility of William Ruto losing this seat and there is a possibility if Azimio is going to dig it in and to prepare fully and to ensure that they're going to take over will William Ruto accept the migration from one political party of course, his political party, to Azimio, one Kenya coalition, will they agree? They will not agree. The same thing we are asking William Ruto. Leave alone members of parliament. If today there could be a strong law, Azimio could have been the majority now. As you speak now, Azimio were the majority. You like it, you don't die. If there was a strong law, that if you are elected under a coalition, no migration. Today, Azimio could have been having more members of parliament. And if they also, the coalition could have been having a strong constitution and ideologies, then when it comes to some issues and agendas in the National Assembly and the Senate Assembly, the Azimio could have been carrying the day. It could have been very easy for Raila Amuro Dinga to take part and strong when it comes to parliament battle. But look what happened. William Ruto decided to, to start buying by UDM members of parliament. There were more members of parliament in UDM party, including MCS. But we are talking about members of parliament. They had members of parliament. William Ruto succeeded to take over the independent members of parliament. Independent. But independent could have not come out to change anything, even if there could have been a law that could have been protecting the Azimio members of parliament. But today, I don't know which kind of law these people always formulate when it comes to, for example, when they are correcting certain laws, you know, that is something that gives me a lot of worries. But in any case, William Ruto has decided to take over Jubilee. The way he's saying that Jubilee party is his, then let him take. The Jubilee Party, because he is claiming even before the ambassador 
that the Jubilee Party was his political party. No one should come out to speak about Jubilee. Ladies and gentlemen, what are your thoughts? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, I want to appreciate you so much because of great support. Please consider liking this video. Like this video. When you like this video, you automatically support this video. And don't forget to give your opinion about this video. And also don't forget to share. Bye-bye till you meet on another video.